Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei, who has shied away from media interviews, gave his first media interview in New Zealand last week. You know, Huawei is the world's second largest telecom equipment maker. The interview comes as Huawei has been under scrutiny in countries such as the U.S. over alleged connections with the Chinese military and the government. Now, Mr. Ren sought to address those suspicions, saying that jealousy over Huawei's success may be a factor behind the allegations. The 68-year-old Ren has not spoken with journalists from either China or abroad since he founded the company 26 years ago. However, during a visit to New Zealand last week, the low-key CEO agreed to speak with four local journalists from Wellington, New Zealand. No international media and no photographers were allowed. Now, during his meeting with the reporters, Ren asserted that Huawei has no connection to the cybersecurity issues the U.S. has encountered in the past. Ren, who joined the Communist Party in 1978, also explained his rationale behind the decision. He told the reporters that his personal belief was to work hard, dedicate himself, and even sacrifice himself for the benefit of the people. Now, Ren was quoted as saying that joining the Communist Party was in line with those aspirations. So what are Chinese net users saying about Ren's surprise meeting with the media and why now? Well, let's have a look at some Weibo comments to find out. He really accepted an interview? I wonder if he will be appearing on CCTV next. I guess Huawei has met with some difficulties lately. Otherwise, I don't think Ren Zhengfei would make a personal appearance. I think Ren Zhengfei taking to the media suggests that Huawei is going to start to make final products. Now Ren has to build a reputable and trustworthy brand if he wants to attract the consumer market. I always thought that Huawei was a great company. It's only that the company never went public, so I have never seen any audited financial statements. I think this is regrettable. We have always known that when an enterprise becomes internationalized, then it will be scrutinized by the public. Huawei's size means that the company can no longer operate under the radar. With increasing suspicion from the international community, I think Chief Executive Ren and other high-level company leaders are learning to face the media and the public. For me, Huawei seems more like a state-owned enterprise than a privately owned one. I don't know another private company who had access to such large amounts of financing. I think Ren Zhengfei could have said more. The more he says, the more transparent the company will appear. As the world's second largest telecommunications equipment manufacturer, Huawei earned two-thirds of its $35 billion annual revenue last year from outside of China. Now, while Huawei has large operations in developing countries in Africa and in the Middle East, it has found it difficult to become more entrenched in developed nations such as the U.S. and Australia. Now, last October, a U.S. congressional report recommended that companies avoid using Huawei products because of espionage risks. In response to the report, Huawei says it has offered complete cooperation and accuses the House Intelligence Committee of predetermining an outcome even before the investigation. Huawei has repeatedly denied that their equipment poses a threat to security, pointing out that rivals also manufacture their products in China. So then what do Chinese net users think about these allegations launched against Huawei from the U.S. government? Let's take a look at a few Weibo comments. Communications devices can indeed compromise national security. I never understood the logic of the U.S. government. So someone who used to be in the military is not allowed to start a business? I mean, take Boeing, for example. Who can say that there is no government connections behind that enterprise? I think Huawei should conduct their own internal investigation. I don't think Huawei dealt with the U.S. investigation very well. I don't think we should only blame the U.S. government for the negative report on Huawei. If Chinese enterprises want to make it abroad, they have to become more transparent. Otherwise, people will see these businesses as mysterious and thus untrustworthy. This will only perpetuate the China threat theory. If you ask me, no matter what Huawei does, the Americans will take every opportunity to attack Chinese policies and the Chinese economy. This year, Ren Zhengfei appeared on the Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People list, joining the ranks of President Barack Obama and Chinese President Xi Jinping. 
as well as a number of sports stars, entertainers and celebrities. In China, Ren is viewed as a heroic entrepreneur who proved that a Chinese company could have immense success internationally. But Ren rarely makes public appearances or talks to the press, making him a mysterious character even in China.